I'm Canadian, remember? We celebrate Thanksgiving in October. Oh, right, I forgot. You guys are weird. You pronounce the word out, out. You guys are the world's leader in handgun violence, your healthcare system is bankrupt, and your country is deeply divided on almost every important issue. Your cops are called Mounties. Trust me, I'm a girl. Yeah, but you're Canadian. Why do you no, always have to bring that up? You bring it up every it. time. No, it has nothing right. to do Five with Five bucks says she still wants Marshall. You're on. Five American bucks. Damn it. Did you get arrested at a mall? No. Dumped at a mall? Ted. Found out you were Canadian at a mall? <laughs> Let it go. My friend in Canada who got married way too young, they had to do their vows twice, once in French. They speak French there too? God, that place is a mess. Even if she is married, it's a Canadian marriage. It's like their money or their army. Nobody takes it seriously. <laughs> Canadian porn. Trust me when I tell you their universal health care system doesn't cover breast implants. If I have to sit through one more flat-chested Nova Scotian riding a Mountie on the back of a Zamboni, I'll go out of my mind. This is the 90s. Why does it look like 1986? The 80s didn't come to Canada till like 93. Just run the New York City Marathon. Absolutely. Barney, we're talking about 42 kilometers. Thanks, Canada. I'll take it from here. Barney, it's like 26 miles. Here's... Robin, did he take your maple leaf? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. It sounds to me like he gave you your first oh Canada face. <laughs> wait, wait. Did he break up with you and tell you he's just not that into it? Ah. Did you ride his Zamboni? Oh. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm also out. I'm sorry, guys. It was all very tame. We only dated for a week and a half. I thought you said you were together all summer. Yeah, summer in Canada is pretty much the last week of July. Oh, you poor thing. To have to grow up in Canada with America right there. Hey, guys. Hey, it's freezing out there. Where's your coat? Ted, I'm Canadian. I don't need a coat. This kind of weather is nothing to me. Oh, get out. Get out? Are you Canadian? No, I, I just... If you want to impersonate a Canadian, just turn off the lights and get all scared! That we're afraid of the dark? <laughs> yeah. For example, uh, Hey, everyone, how many Canadians does it take to change a light bulb? What? Oh, no, the light bulb's out. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, everybody. Let me tell you something about people from Canada. Hey, Robin, please don't oh, make a scene. Do you know why Canadians never get a birthday wish? Because they're too afraid to blow out the candles. <laughs> okay, you bumped into him, and he apologized and gave you a donut on the hose? Oh, it's just like home. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. Sorry. Anyway, I'm sure there are plenty of exciting stories to cover back in Canada. I just read that the mayor of Winnipeg's nephew went ice fishing and caught himself a 16-pound walleye. Reporting live from the worst place in the world, I'm Robin Trubotsky. Harvey's trays. You have those classic orange trays you get whenever you eat at Harvey's. The restaurant? Oh, come on. You're road tripping down the Trans-Canada Highway. You get a hunger on between Milverton and Wawa. Where are you going to strap on a feed bag, huh? Harvey's. Over 12,000 served. Canada, you did it again. You even found a way to ruin this. Why? Why do we let you be a country? McElroy and Lafleur. Don't tell me you guys have never seen McElroy and Lafleur. It, it, it's the greatest Canadian action movie of all time. Old African Canadian partner just bought a Wait. cozy ice fishing shack in northern Alberta. Now this that is. Right. Is that meant sometimes she dressed a little differently. Okay, let's do this. Ted, this hydro bill is bigger than Louis Sir's biceps. What? You leave the garburetor on all night, eh? <laughs> okay, you chat anything, people will join in. Canada. Canada! Canada! Okay, they won't chant anything. Shrimp fried rice! Shrimp fried rice! Shrimp fried rice! Shrimp fried rice! I'm a Canadian. I was born there. My family's there. It's who I am. <laughs> I know. And it's provided us with a lot of laughs. But, you know, it's not gonna be easy, this test. It's not like the Canadian citizenship test. Wait, how do you know the Canadian test is easy? It's Canada. Question one, do you want to be Canadian? Question two, really? Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, curling. Um, it's a sport. Play Wrong. The answer we were looking for was, I don't care, it's dumb. Let's go buy something that's bad for us and then sue the people who made it. That's American, Robin. You called me, said you were never coming back. So I jumped on a plane, flew across the Atlantic. Canada isn't across the Atlantic. You're talking nonsense. It's like an entire country without a tailor. What's wrong? Other than the fact that this $5 bill they gave you is blue. And... 
There's kids playing hockey on the back. It's like you want us to make fun of you. Look at this money. This one has a moose. This one has a beaver. And they all have Elton John on the back. Attention, Canada. I am Barney from America, and I'm here to fix your backward-ass country. Number one, get real money. Don't know what board game this came from, but it's a joke. Number two, quit letting awesome chicks like Robin Scherbatsky get away. You don't want her? I'm planting my flag in her, if you know what I mean, which you probably don't, and getting her the hell out of here. You may now return to being pointless. Oh, hey, fellas. It's called a tie. Those Canadian doctors bandaged me up, reset my jaw, put my shoulder back in its socket, and they didn't even bill me, idiots. I guess Canada's not so bad. If they play their cards right, maybe they could even become a state someday. Okay, let me try to Canada this up for you, eh? How would you react if one of those Kachuk guys with the skates and the sticks walked in here? If one of the Vancouver Canucks walked in here, my panties would drop so hard, there would be a hole in the floor halfway to China. That's what it's like. I am, too, a real New Yorker. <laughs> That's adorable. You're from Canada. I have been here for almost six years. It's not like I just got off a boat. <laughs> a boat. Oh, wait, that is how you say it. Okay, it's too late. I'm already wrapped around a hydro pole. It's a Canadian telephone pole. I never should have taken this job. Um, what did every kid bring in their lunchbox every day till grade eight? Pancakes with maple syrup. <laughs> Thanks, Canada. Mmm. This is nice. What is this? Canadian whiskey. <laughs> you have been ripping on Canada since Justin Bieber was knee high to a snowblower. So now this Canuck's gonna beat on you like the drummer from Yukon Blonde hopped up on Timbits. <laughs> this Canadian dollar here is called a loony. And this two dollar coin, a toonie. True story. It's federal currency, and you people talk about it like it's a Hanna Barbera character. Not you people, Barney. Our people. You Canada. Damn it. Ty, you answer to Canada now. You can't be serious. Oh, I am as serious as a poutine shortage in Shakutami during a curling bond spiel. I don't know what any of those words mean. Yes, you do. I ain't cold. Huh. Interesting. It's fascinating. Almost as if your body was accustomed to low temperatures after generations of adapting. Canada. Let's start a new life. Head for the border. Canada. Eh, Mexico. Canada sucks. Okay, well, you're one quarter Canadian, so by that logic, you one quarter suck. 